The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... We are kicking things off in the kitchen today with Chef Charles Brown from Frankie Rollins. Thanks for coming back with us. Absolutely. Let's talk about what we're cooking up today. All right, so we got our uh, we got our Brussels sprouts, and I kind of got them started, you know, already, of course. And they smell so good. I wish that was like smell-o-vision, because people <laughs> don't even know how good this smells. Right. Well, I started off with bacon grease and the cut sprouts, and what I did, I just put a really nice uh, heavy sauté and roast on mm -hmm. the cut side. And then you kind of toss in your garlic and your shallots, your crushed reds, um, and the bacon. Yeah, let's mix that up here. So, um, and then, um, why did you choose to do Brussels sprouts? Was this something you guys do at the restaurant? It is. It's one of our. Uh, it's one of our most popular sides. Well, I can um, smell why. <laughs> and you know, a lot of people. A lot of people just are kind of scared of Brussels sprouts for some reason. Yes, so including Jonathan Keggis, Just so we've already <laughs> we've already discovered today. So that's where it's. Uh, it's just. It's just one of our uh, most popular sides, and I thought I'd maybe try to showcase it. Yeah, a bit. absolutely. I love it. It smells delicious. It looks delicious. And so you just tossed it in um, balsamic vinegar. Is that right? Uh, uh, yeah, a little reduction. A reduction, okay. And, uh, you know, that's that's it. It's nice and simple. Um, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, as long as you do simple stuff well, it can be, you know, just, just fabulous. Yeah, so you all are in the heart of downtown Roanoke, and one of the things taking over downtown Roanoke in just a couple weeks is the St. Patrick's Day festivities. Yes, ma'am. Tell me a little bit about what's going on between you and your sister restaurant, Corn Beef and Company. Well, we uh, we have the, the block shut down right there at, mm -hmm. on Jefferson Avenue, um, and there's going to be a Celtic band, big stage in the parking lot right beside us, uh, Corn Beef. There are all, all sorts of events and activities going on the entire day, um, the whole weekend, and then Frankie's is going to be opening the bar early for a quieter place for people to enjoy the you know, enjoy the festivities. Absolutely, because if people haven't been down there, it gets crazy down there all day long and all night long it as does, well. It does, yes, absolutely. Because I know that corned beef is going to be open until 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. And so how long is Frankie's going to be open? Are you guys doing reservations or are you just um, we're always We're always doing reservations. Okay. We'll be open by 11.30 um, and then we'll just stay open as long as we need to to help support corned beef and then just, you know, uh, let our patrons enjoy themselves with us. Yeah, and so the parade is at 11 a.m. So tell us a little bit about what people are doing at corned beef in downtown throughout the rest of the day because once the parade's over the party doesn't stop <laughs> yeah, the party doesn't <laughs> stop that's right um that's where the the parking lot adjacent to us we're gonna have a celtic band there uh mm -hmm. for you know the uh the whole afternoon we're gonna have a bunch of street vendors uh you know there's gonna be a lot of a is lot there of, an outdoor uh, is there usually an outdoor beer there's, garden yeah there's an outdoor beer garden a bar uh there's gonna be food corned beef obviously yes um and then inside it's just it's it's you know, it's, it's just a party, a wall -wall. absolutely, yeah. and it's green from head to toe. Make sure you check out the Brussels sprouts there. Frankie Rollins, visit our friend Chef Charles Brown. Thank you so much for coming on, and um, we will be sure to have you guys back, and we'll have you again when we talk about other festivities going on downtown.